It's a beautiful, crisp December morning here in West Denver. Um, we're creeping up on 34 degrees. Uh, you might be able to see my breath. Uh, but I've got a thermal blanket on top of my smoker this morning. Um, that, that pretty much does a good job of keeping the heat in, inside the smoker. But it does nothing to regulate the hot spots that we have inside these smokers. Um, what I mean by that is we've got some cool zones and we've got some hot zones. Um, I'm going to do a biscuit test today to just show you how we can uh, regulate those hot zones. Uh, and uh, I've got some parts right here uh, that were sent to me by a guy named Tom Bowden up in Fort Collins, Colorado. He uh, he makes these things. He's, he's got a website. It's smokeslikeaboss.com. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but he was gracious enough to send me these parts to show them to you. Uh, um, and how, how we put them together. Um, I've got some in my smoker already, but uh, he wanted me to go ahead and show the, these brand new parts off and show uh, these are precision made. Uh, they do a really well job, a really good job of uh, regulating the temperatures inside the, uh, the smoker. So anyway, I'm going to show you how these go together. Okay, this is the broiler plate from uh, Pit Boss 1150 Pro Series, the PS. Um, and Anybody that has this model knows that uh, there's a gap right there. It it's like this on the inside, and what happens is the heat comes up from your fire pot, and it blows straight onto your temperature probe that's sitting right here. Well, what this does, it screws onto the that gap, and it fills that gap like so, so that your uh, your fire pot doesn't blow directly on your temperature probe. It spreads it out across the broiler plate from side to side. I have one installed already on mine, uh, but there's the temperature probe right there. And right behind this is a, a ledge. It's a ledge that goes straight across. And this bolts to it right there. Uh, you can pre-drill the holes, I suppose, if you wanted to, but I'm pretty sure that those screws will go straight through. It's been a while since I put mine on, so I can't remember if I drilled straight through it uh, or if I actually drilled some pilot holes. But I think that uh, I think if you could probably drill those the bolts straight on there, and it'll work. But that regulates the heat coming from the fire pot, which is going to blow straight up your broiler plate onto your temperature probe right here. Now this is the flame tamer. It's a four window flame tamer. What it does, it directs, the, the flame is going to come straight up out of that fire pot. And it's going to hit this. And it's going to redirect that flame to the sides and to the front and the back. Now you can turn it any way you want to do it. It'll work either way. Um, but it works really well. And your broiler plate is going to sit on top. And this diffuser right here is going to prevent that heat from giving you a false reading over here. Now, sure, you can make your own uh, if you got an old leftover piece of sheet metal um, and some tin snips and a vise. You can cut your own. That's uh, still going to cost you. You got some time to put in, but uh, look at the difference in the quality and the precision compared, you know, between mine. And the one I got from Tom from Port Collins, smokedlikeaboss.com. All right, I've got this put back together, and you can see how it fits back in here. You got the little tabs that your uh, broiler plate fit on, and uh, you want to make sure that that the edge of that the back edge of that is uh, down in that grease tray, uh, so your channels will, will channel your grease down in there. Otherwise, you're gonna get yourself a heck of a fire. Uh, it's going to go down into that pot right there. Anyway, some of you guys want to sear a steak or a tri-tip or something like that after you've smoked it. Well, it's okay. All you got to do is just open up your broiler plate like so. Take your tongs or, or you know, your fork or a stick or something. Just stick it in there and just, uh, all you got to do is slide that flame tamer out of the way. Sometimes it's easier said than done. But now you can see down in there, you, your, your fire pot is exposed. 
So you've got the fire pot that's going to shoot the flame straight up and sear your steak. Now there are a lot of you guys out there that have this model. It comes with this, uh, oh God, I don't know what it's called. It's a cheap old uh, aluminum thing. You decide to take it off. Well, that's okay. You can take it off. Now, I like mine on there because I find it easier to clean out the ash. But uh, you can see if you've got it off, then the flame tamer is going to sit right there. It's going to sit like so. Okay? And if you open up your broiler plate, you can just stick your fork in there and knock it over to the side. You still got your fire pot right there. Flame's gonna come straight up and you can broil your, your, your flat iron or your, I mean sear your flat iron or your uh, steaks or your tri-tip, whatever you wanna do. Um, and of course that's gonna be the last thing you're gonna do. Uh, you know, you're gonna smoke it first so you don't have to worry about putting that flame tamer back on until the next time you go to smoke your meat. All right, I've got this put back together now, so uh, the next thing we're gonna do is fire this baby up, get some biscuits on there, and uh, do ourselves a little uh, hot spot test. It's called a biscuit test. We're gonna lay them in there. We're gonna, we're gonna fire this thing up, lay the biscuits in there, all the way across, front to back. Now, I've only got eight biscuits, so we're gonna, you know, I'll, you'll, you'll get it. Then we're going to find out if we've got any hot spots. I've got the diffuser on this side. I've got the flame tamer in there. We're going to fire this thing up and put some biscuits on. Okay, I've got it going. Uh, we got it fired up. It's getting hot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let it get up to temp now. What I've done is I set it for 300 degrees because it's cold out here. And... Uh, I want it to get up to about 250 in, inside the chamber here. So that's why I set my controller over there for 300 degrees. Uh, you can see the smoke rolling right now. Uh, we want to get most of that, that that bad smoke right there, that dirty smoke. So we're going to let that clear out of there. And uh, once it clears out, we start getting some clean smoke in there. I'm going to go ahead and put some biscuits on and... Uh, See if we can find a hot spot. There we go. Let her roll, baby. Let her roll. All right, my can popped open on me. Um, I've got some probes in here already. I don't know if you can see them or not, but uh, I don't know that I trust them sitting like that. So, uh, we're going to do that biscuit test. I've got eight of them here that I'm going to spread out for this test. And we're just going to set them on the grates like so. Just like so. to see if we can find a hot spot all right so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door and uh, we'll check back in here about a half an hour and see how they're doing all right it's been a little while um, hadn't been quite a half an hour yet but uh, my smoker got up to about 280 degrees so I bumped it back down to 250 as you can see, you might be able to see that's down to about 267 now. But uh, these biscuits, I think I might have to turn these things over. They're starting to. It's pretty warm right here in the front. over on this side as you can see so I'm going to take these biscuits move them over here and we're going to try to even out this cook a little bit the 
looks like my hot spots right now are just right in the front right here. These two spots right here were the hot spots. That back there is a little warm. It's always been the hot spot. But it's not so bad, uh, you know, compared to right here and right there. I think that's a pretty good, you know, a pretty good evening out of the heat that's in there. But right up in the front here was a real hot spot. Those two biscuits right there came from the front. <clears throat> or actually, no, one of them came from right back here. The other one came from right here. So I got a hot spot right here. It's almost right above the sear plate, the, the, the firebox, which is right in the center here. But anyway, we're going to let it go for about another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. I got that temperature down to 174 right now. Um, I set it for 250. I think I'm going to knock it down to 225. And we're going to finish these biscuits up. Okay, I've shut this thing down. Um, it, it didn't take long to find a hot spot. The flame chamber and the, and the diffuser did a real good job of evening out the heat, but I still got a couple hot spots right here. That's where my hot spot is, right over this plate. Um, I moved these from that side over there, but they're—I mean, they're—they're they're, they're pretty done. Uh, even just moving them back over there, these are getting there. These probably use a little bit more cooking, but uh, I can finish those off in the house. I mean, they don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. Well, these biscuits are done. Yeah, I see they're all done. I got—I got some pretty good heat distribution throughout this thing using the flame tamer and the uh, diffuser plate uh, but I do still have a hot spot it's right here right here is my hot spot but that's okay uh, because I know where it's at now um, you know that biscuit's done yeah you know, Good thing about doing this biscuit test, my wife's got some sausage gravy going inside the house. We're going to have sausage and biscuits for breakfast. Mmm, that's pretty good. See you after a while. So uh, that's it for the biscuit test. Uh, I'd like to thank Tom Bowden for sending me the parts. Uh, I recommend them. Uh, it's a reasonable, reasonably priced item, uh, two of them that you can put in there and modify your smoker. Um, he's uh, got a, a Facebook page. Uh, it's Pit Boss Pellet Grill Smokers Owners. I think that's what it is. I'll put a link in the description. But anyway, uh, join the Facebook page. Uh, visit his website, uh, smokeslikeaboss.com. I'll put the links in the description and. Uh, I want to thank Tom Bowden and all the guys in that pit, uh, pit Boss Pellet Group. That uh, They're always there to help. Anybody's got any questions, uh, everybody's there. I mean, even the members, not just the admins, the moderators, all the members too. Everybody gives uh, good advice. Uh, if you got any questions, if you're new to this or anything like that. I mean, I've even asked questions and had them answered. So, anyway, there we go. It's time to go inside and have some biscuits and gravy.